we're back, we're back. Is the camera a bit drunk? It's facing that way a bit, isn't it? It doesn't really matter. Shall we straighten him up? Come here, little boy. with that. So, Jane Silent Bob t-shirt from Tea Public, which means it's fake, but it was a colourful design. I quite thought it would be fun. Cookie Monster hat. You know why? I like to change my t-shirt between videos. Because I record them on different days. Because it just helps me know what videos were when I'm editing. If I split videos in two and I stop recording halfway, then I can, you know, that goes with that. Works. Anyway, rambling, you don't know, you don't care. You do know, but you don't care. Um, two pop subscription, pop in a box, January. I said this all about 10 minutes ago, but I'm going to say it again. Because to you lot, it's a different month. Thumbs up the ones you like. Leave the ones neutral that you don't. But you might. Thumbs down the ones that you don't, and you shouldn't get them. Some people do. Some people get pop keychains and they shouldn't. I've never had a pop keychain. Um, I've never had one I don't like. I've never had one that's even been neutral. Touch wood. Um, so yeah. 18.99, I believe. Two pop subscription. You pay three pound postage, you never used to. And then they're kind of like, oh, we should have been charging you postage. We really should have. And I always figured that postage was part of the deal. That's the reason it was worth having because otherwise you're saving. 50p a pop if you're really lucky by having a subscription it's not really like woo however as you may know from pop in a box you can thumbs up pops you want and those ones that you thumbs up they can be they can be 30 40 50 pound pops and you may get them genuinely may get them as part of your subscription even if you have a one pop subscription you may get them um yeah that's what makes it worth it really but you can either play the game and only thumbs up the ones that are expensive to resell or you can play the game and thumbs up the ones that obviously that you want. What you should never do is thumbs up ones that you want but are cheaper than your subscription price. So you're paying 950 a pop, let's say with postage on it. Let's include postage because I like to include postage because I budget well. Let's say you're paying £10.50 a pop. Even more than that, wouldn't it? It'd be eleven pound a pop for twenty-two pound. Simple maths. You're paying eleven pound a pop, and you can get that pop for seven pound elsewhere. And you know you want it, and you know you're going to buy it. Buy it for seven pound elsewhere. Don't wait to get it in your subscription for more than what you can buy it elsewhere, because that makes no sense. Anyway, there are a lot of good times, however, with subscriptions. And this is a week, a month. This is a month. This is a month. That is one of them. I have a 10 inch pop and I have a deluxe pop. And yeah, so I've definitely got my money's worth. The irony is the 10 inch pop is actually quite cheap. But let's show you. So, it is trapdoor. When I say it's cheap, it, all 10 inch pops usually go for about 30 pound retail, 25 maybe. Some go for about 45, but ones that are less popular can easily sell for 15 pound and not really get above that. Which, to go through the effort of posting this, you're probably not gonna do it by a Royal Mail, you're gonna have to go by a courier company, you have to pay, someone's gonna have to pay 6.50 or 5.50 to get it. And then you stick that on top of your 17 pound, you're only making, I don't know, after an eBay fee, maybe five pound profit. It, it's not really worth flipping if that's your intention, but if it's something you want to play the game at and then maybe get it, maybe keep it, maybe sit on it for a bit. Or if, like me, you just look, every time you see a 10 inch pop, you go, oh, I want to keep it. And then several months down the line, you're like, well, it's not really something I can collect. It's gone to 25 quid now. It's worth shifting on. I'll shift it on. Do that. But yeah, so we won't get them out as mentioned because. As it stands, I don't intend on keeping him. Although I did grow up watching He-Man, so you know, I see the universe is close to my heart in that respect. But 
I don't really know Masters of the Universe. I'm not sure if it's more an American thing. We definitely had He-Man in the UK and She-Ra, but Masters of the Universe as a whole, I'm not familiar with. But, Trap the Jaw. I'll show you the prices. I did look earlier. £17. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, at the minute, the cheapest retail is Magic Madhouse at £19 or just under £9, which is quite insane for retail for a 10 inch pop. They obviously realised that he's not selling well and thought, we best lower the prices. Everywhere else has him at 30 quid ish. EMP, typical EMP, have them at like 37 quid because they're mad. Uh, yeah, the cheapest after Madhouse is Glass Classish. <laughs> Lash shelf collectibles at 27. But he is only worth, in terms of eBay salage, 17 whole pound. But 17 pound on the 9 pound 50 pop, which let's say is 11 pound, is still a good, we'll say 5 pound profit, because I usually do 1 pound eBay days if I sell them, so I'm paying a quid on top, possibly, maybe less. Might even be an 8% day, but you get the drift. So, trap door. Trap jaw. And this one is the other one. It's a deluxe Alice. I actually really like this because you know I'm manly. I just I just think it's a really nice pop. I like how it's crafted, how it's molded. I will actually keep this one. So we'll we'll move trap jaw out of the way. And we'll get her out of the box because we can. Now these deluxe pops typically go for about 25 pound but we'll have a look in a bit so and it's just a cool pop loads of layers loads of detail in those flowers they're pretty cute I just like it I like some of the princess pops because you know some of them are really well done like the uh, ones where they have their own bases in it they have something contextually reflecting the cartoon on the base, I think they're really nice pops. Does a head turn? It probably could if you really wanted it to, but she is kind of flanked tightly by flowers. So yeah, deluxe pop, part of my two pop subscription. So in theory, I paid 11 pound for that, which in theory, as trap jaw is a 30 pound pop, that is in theory a 25 pound pop, but a big J-Lo Kim Kardashian size but In reality, for some strange reason, and I've had this conversation with you all before. Retail $24.99 on Pop in a Box. On Forbidden Planet $28.79, weird price, down from 30 quid I think. Plenty of places in America sell it for $24 to $33. But secondhand market on eBay. In terms of sales, £38. However, it hasn't sold overly recently, by which I mean probably in the last two weeks. But yeah, £8 over value, and it's still in stock in UK shops at retail. I don't know, but hey. So, ironically, my money is there more so than here. We've chap, crap, chap, 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 we've trapped your. So let's go by TPD prices, and let's be conservative. Let's let's shave some money off her because I don't believe she's going to go for that money because, like I said, it's more than retail, and the sale last sale was two weeks ago, so maybe she was hard to get and she's quite new still, which isn't the case because I've had her thumbs up for a while. But anyway, so I'm going to say eighteen pound, one pound above TPD because I will try and get eighteen pound minimum for him, as I won't sell him. Um. We'll say for her, we'll say 30. So again, we're getting 48 pound. 47 if we go by TPD for him. And that's shaving, what was it? Six, eight pound of her? For a 22 pound pop in a box subscription. That is over double your money. Pop in a box. It is worth doing. You don't always get back to back 10 inches. I've had two months now back to back with 10 inches in them. The 10 inches aren't always the best pop in pop in a box, despite that. But I kind of have found that often I'll get a 10 inch 
or movie moment or two movie moments sometimes. And then it'll be followed by two commons. So this has kind of booked the trend a bit because this has obviously done two double value boxes in a row, which we're not complaining. We're liking that, especially as I can put some of the money towards a new computer. Anyway, this is going to be a long video. Yeah, it's about right. <laughs>